that you know we we've, we've never met physically, but yet you feel this kinship and this this bond, and it's pretty cool. Did I see Bantry's on? Hello, Bantry. I think hi, Diane and Angie. They want to know how your two kitties are. Awesome. Oh, good. Awesome. Awesome. Well, guess what? Since Bantry's on, we went from one box to two boxes. Kitty, 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 kitty. So that's pretty cool. Bantry has sent a box, but she had asked that we wait until she gets on. So, um, how about we do these two boxes, and then I'll be open to answer any questions. And do we have a cateteri that's available? Oh, <laughs> uh, Angie, I'm supposed to tell you that Donna gets no more food for the rest of today yeah. or till um, she gets back to Alaska. <laughs> she went on a quick half-hour drive to um, Archibald or to uh, Brian today, and she pooped in her pen. Uh -oh. So we have to cut out all her food now till Friday, so that she's completely empty for her trip. <laughs> um. Oh, Nuki, Nuki's going to do our notes. Okay, is Nuki on? And Bantry says, be careful. Okay, going to poop. I know, I ha I will have a little talk with her, Lini, before she goes and tell her that uh, she can't do that. But, you know, we've got those um, chucks, those little chuck things that we can send a couple with you and some um, damp little rags, you know, these little wipies that the web cameras have provided for the kitties, so we can send some of those um, with you just in case you need a quick wipe. So, hi, pretty princess. I'm glad you're on. So we've got one here. Neither one of these is from Amazon, and but this says it's from J H, the Cat Connection from Dallas, Texas. But we we know from experience that that doesn't mean that that's the person that it's. Oh my goodness, that it's from. Oh, this is from Bonnie P. from San Jose, California. No, ho, ho, ho. This is from, um, <laughs> the, yeah, Bonnie P. from San Jose, California. This is pretty cool. This is what is um, Octavia's very, very, very favorite snackers. Bonito flakes. Look at this. There's six. Oh my gosh. How many are there? There's there's 12 of these. There's 12 of these. Thank you, Bonnie. Whoops. Oops. Look at this. Here comes Farah already. She knows. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> look at Sarah. She says that's my favorite treat too. Yeah, look at this. Oh, I can't even get them open. But it's um, extra large dried bonito flakes, a natural and delicious treat. For any of those that have never tried this for your kitties, you really need to get some. Um, I'll keep one of these out and use these as a snack. And actually, most of you know where we have to keep the open ones. We have to keep them in the refrigerator because um, Octavia will will get into it. I'm going to go ahead and open one of Tweenies. Tweenies down here. He eats. I feed him up there separate. Tweenies already ready for her little snackers. But yeah, just take a whiff of that. <sighs> yeah. That's almost as good as sardines. Oh. No, oh, Tweeny, come here. I'll give you a little speck. Just a little. Don't tell anybody. Whoops, here, Tweeny. You missed some. When Tweeny gets to go to California. Oh, and Bella likes it, too. Uh-oh, I think I started uh -huh. one. Hello. And I wonder if our new boy would like that, too. So when um, Tweeny goes to Colorado in... Um, March, we'll have to um, send some of this with Tweeny because she really, really likes it too. So thank you, Bonnie. Check this out, Steve. Twelve of these. 
Octavia found it. Okay, now no more. No more. No more. This is for later. I put two in the refrigerator for the next few days. What's that called? Bonito flakes. They're they're like um it says uh, a natural and delicious treat dried to, it's like tuna flakes. But the cats love it. Yeah, that's why Octavia was sitting on this today. And how would she know that? That's what you were doing. And this one is from uh, Bantry, our webcam friend Bantry. And check out the paper. Bantry's things always have something special. It's a real pretty, pretty thing there on it. And she already said to be careful opening it. And Bantry lives in Massachusetts. And Bantry's been with us from geez, almost the beginning. I think uh, maybe the beginning of of our of our time. Oops, wait a minute. Am I supposed to be cutting that? Oops. There we go. We got it. <laughs> this one's, this is a card from Bantry. Aww, I'm not sure what's in there, but it looks interesting. Oh, check out that design. Bantry's always got cool stuff. It says, Dear Jackie and all the volunteers, Thanks and thanks and thanks again for all the love these kitties receive. We love sharing and all the joy they bring to so many people. And a belated, oh, Christmas present for you. Enjoy. From Bantry. Look at this cute little kitty ornament. Or sometimes I hang these kind of things in my truck. Which I'm going to put in my pocket because if I put that down, the kitties will have it. Oh, oh my gosh. Bantry. Did you make this Bantry? I'm back. I love my pets. Bantry. You. Oh my gosh. You need that. You guys all know I love best. I wear them all the time. That is beautiful. Check out the color on that. Bantry, thank you. This is very, very special. I love this. Wow, and look at the back. The design on the back there. The Isn't that beautiful? Boy, your stitches are gorgeous. Thank you, Bantry. This is really very special. I love this color. Very nice. Thank you so much. And even the buttons are are so pretty. Wow. Somebody taught you how to do that really pretty. Thank you, Bantry. This is really special. I love this. Thank you. I'll hold this up again before I'm done in case there's somebody didn't get to see that. Uh oh. Now you guys have to quit sending us cats. This looks like the same cat that was in. <laughs> this Picasso again. You're just a little bomb, aren't you? Over you go. And, oh, look at this. Hey. <laughs> Retractable ballpoint pens. Um, do you know how many times I go from one place to the next looking for pens? And then I stick them in my pocket. And then I have to wait for Greg to come to dig them all out underneath the from the desk. Thank you, Bantry. These are always in high demand. I might have to hide some in a drawer. 
No, I think we better, well, you can have that. I'll keep this in the desk. Yeah, don't get in that. Oh, and, and the post it notes. I'm always using the post it notes. And look at this. And the cat toys, puff balls, four, oh, and they're catnip ones. Now, Bantry, did you make this too? I know you make so many cool things. Did you make the little ducky? The catnip ducky? Oh, okay, because I know you make cool stuff. Isn't that cute? Do you want that, Octavia? Octavia's smelling the, the catnip already. There you go. Yep, she's got it. She's the duck thief, too. Thank you, Pantry, and thank you, Jennifer. Or, I mean, I'm sorry. Thank you, Bonnie, for the gifts tonight. And, gosh, I just love that, that vest. Um, today, Steve and I went to Lima. He got his uh, staples out, and he's, he's now driving by himself. So that's good. Is it, are you not supposed to be or what? You should be able to be. Hope he's able to be because he did. <laughs> they wanna they wanna see your scar. <laughs> he's just sitting there. I don't think he's coming. <laughs> um we it's been pretty quiet here today. I've been trying to uh forewarn all the volunteers about next week and I kinda gave a rundown on the blog today of of what's gonna happen. Um I, I had mentioned that Wednesday the track truck comes, and then Thursday, Friday, we'll be taking just a few items out of here. All of this has to go. The poles, the refrigerator, the freezer, the table, the steps that we use to go into the house. There's two, there's two steps, or two um, step units. Uh, everything. All the cat furniture, everything has to go out. And then on Saturday morning, we have surgery here. Uh, Dr. Cindy Thurston's coming, and Bonnie will be here. Jody's going to help. Um, we're going to do that like we did last month in the office, and we've got we're all set up for surgery in there. It's a works really good. It's a good system for us. And then Sunday. Uh, all the rest of the things that didn't go out yet will go out. There's a couple things we haven't figured out yet. We need the refrigerator and we need to keep the freezer plugged in. So we might have to clear some things out of the new welcome room so that we can put those in there and keep them plugged in. And I think the dogs are going to have to go in the welcome room too because they can't go in Thumper's room because we're going to put some of the cats in there that may not like the fullness, how full we're going to fill the office up. Yeah, so I'm not quite sure how it's all going to work, but we will make it work. We're we're um, we're bendable. We're we're bendable and uh, flexible, and we'll make it work. It's just I'm just hoping and praying it's not going to be too snowy, too rainy out there because we're going to have to also keep supplies in the house. And then we have to go out the front door and around the whole rescue center to get to one of the two doors, which isn't going to be fun if we're carrying buckets of water and all that kind of stuff. So next week, bear with us because it's going to be tough. I remember two years ago when we did this floor, and we weren't out of here but maybe four days. This time it's going to be uh, six days, I think, that we're down. Oops, are you okay, buddy? You ate too much, didn't you? Oh, here, let's take that away. Okay. Angie, for just right now, I'm just going to set this in there. So <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I do believe our wonderful sesame ate too much. Um, so, but, give me that. <laughs> are too much I think he ate too many bonito flakes, too. Um, but that's that's it. I don't think we have a whole lot more uh, news today, unless somebody knows of something that I should be saying that I haven't. And anybody have any questions? If I scoot over here, I might be able to read the chat better. 
I think I need my glasses changed. Anybody have any questions for us? It's wonderful to see everybody on, not just lurking, but but signed on. That makes me really happy. Do you use pill pockets? We definitely use pill pockets uh, for, whoa, going too fast. We're, we definitely use pill pockets, except this last week, um, for some reason, that Farrah girl has decided that she's not too keen on them. So she'll be okay, though. I know she'll go back on them. Farrah's doing awesome. And we will not be offline when the floor is fixed because we're going to move the cam into the office. So it's going to be a totally new look for you. Uh, Lini, nope, I didn't get the cards yet. I did not get the cards yet. And no luck finding Sesame's family. I think that that's going to be like looking for a needle in a haystack because I've been told that that truck could have been several different places before it went to the last place. How warm do we keep the shelter, in, or the rescue? We call it the rescue. Uh, right now it's 69, and we rarely have to have the heat on because of the body heat of um, the cats. So the cam, or excuse me, the furnace doesn't really click on all that much. So it's usually too warm because we all are working hard, and, and we get a little bit too warm. Um, will be on the floor. Nobody knows what the surprise is going to be on the floor because it's just a little, little surprise, but I'll show you guys later this week. Um, and nobody knows because I'm the only one that thought about it so far. So it'll be kind of a, just a fun little thing for you webcammers. Um, yep, I got to do Ferris Mint yet. We will be doing boxes next week. I might have to sit on the floor out there and do them, but we will do it. Um, model the vest. I got a big, heavy, bulky sweater on tonight. I, I'll put it on, though. Get away sometime to set up the new YouTube account. Yes, Eric, I would love that. Uh, maybe email me, ask me when, or you can and I can, and we'll go from there. Thank you, Eric. I appreciate it. Oh, good, Amy. I'm glad you got your DVD. We still have a few DVDs left from the Catathon left, if you'd like that. Um, just let me know. You know, I did check Am Sprinkle for a chip in Sesame. He does not have one. Oh, thank you, Love My Pets. That's cool. I didn't... Yeah, that's right. I, I, that would be really great. Oh, no, I did did go, I handled Mercy a couple times today, Subra, but when I get done here, I'll, I'll go check her again. She's probably in that back room. Yeah, usually people use the caps, don't use the caps. I guess I used to use the caps when I first started on chat, so I was told that that means I was talking too loud, you know, typing, so... Um, I didn't know that. I was a newbie. Do they make another flavor? I don't know what the deal is with her right now, Cindy, but um, the only ones I've ever seen is the chicken flavor. Who weighs more, Farah or Merci? I think it's Merci. To see Lily, I'll see if I can find her Nancy pants. Yeah, oh, the cats love those catnip bananas. And after the new floor comes... And I probably ought to get some more of those new toys out. I noticed uh, two of the bananas was in the kitty campus room today, and they are kind of gross looking. Sesame is okay. He just ate a little bit um, too much, I think. He did come in with, uh, I think, I'm going to bet you just just a, a guess on my part that he's been a cat in his lifetime where he's had some chronic upper respiratory things, um, so that might be just something we have to deal with, no big deal. Yes, B, thank you, I got that permission from you for us to use that logo on that, and I sent that on to the person that asked me about it, and um, she's going to be emailing you then. 
Night Sassy Cat from Sweden. Octavia. Oh, <laughs> is that what I did wrong, Bubba? <laughs> Just in case somebody doesn't know that. Um, uh, the other night I went to do Farrah's meds and the pill pocket packet had a hole in it, so they weren't as soft as what she likes them. So I gave those out as treats. Yeah, now Farrah doesn't think that they're they're special. <laughs> oh, you got your your Nuki Mas Master Demon Chip. <laughs> uh, Radar and Riley love Florida. Sig Roy, don't let them love it too much. We want you to come back here soon. Yeah, yep. I um. Linda Marie, is it? Yeah, that's the trick I used to do. I actually forgot about that one. Oh, hi, Nancy. My sister's on. My sister Nancy's on. Hi, Nancy. Zelda Belda must have been behind me. Nancy, everything's fine here. You saw beef-flavored ones of the pill pockets? I need to, yeah, I need has been quiet tonight. I was gone this afternoon because of Steve's appointment. Nancy, you guys doing okay? Here, uh, is it Kai Min's or Kim in Iowa? Here's the, we've got for you that if you missed it, the kitty's got 12 containers of the Bonito Flakes, which you know the kitties love it. And Octavia is right here looking at it again. And Bantry made this beautiful vest for me. Isn't that pretty? Oh, and I'm way behind on the chat again. You're in White Springs, Florida. Nancy, you're in caps, too. <laughs> Uncap yourself. Nancy, Mom's doing good. Oh, hey, this is knife pantry. This feels very, very comfortable. It matches your sweatshirt. Yeah, it matches my sweatshirt. Oh, <laughs> Diane, so she can mail the 20 cents. That is funny. Is it? I love this. Bantry, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And see the back design? I love it, Bantry. Thank you. And it's going to be warm. That's why I always wear a vest. I like. I don't like to be chilly. You know, now she's got to make them for all the volunteers. <laughs> oh, did you hear that, Pantry? <laughs> <laughs> the volunteers are going to put orders in. Yeah, it's it's a machine washable. Okay, cool. Thanks for telling me that. I like that color too. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Farah is that one. Maybe um. Uh, Sassy Cat, you are welcome to send a box. Always. Laid flat to dry. Okay. Nancy needs caps. Yeah, sisters can use caps. Thank you. I love I love it. Um, so, are we all set, everybody? Uh, uh, you got salmon flavored pockets? Okay. Oh, that you're sending. Okay. Thank you, Mimi. Thank you. Duckster is doing wonderful. Oh, Stacy helped. So Stacy knew about it. She's a stinker. Thank you. That was that's wonderful. Um, whoops, wait a minute. I missed one. Da, da, da. Duckster is doing great, Jobo. Uh, he's really just coming along real well. Um, and they have it in the beet flavor too. I did not know that. 
Oh, Grumpy, maybe you were, maybe that was um, Merci that you saw. She's kind of like a white calico, mostly white with a little spot on her forehead and kind of like a calico tail on there. Nancy, maybe give me a, oh, I'm not sure. Yeah, you can probably do um, emails too and let me know how you guys are doing too. Yeah, Braden time. Maybe you can stop and see Sig. Yeah, all these crazy kitties. Tonight is so windy outside, and tonight uh, two of the volunteers came over and said, uh, or came and got me at the desk where I was working and said that two of the Sun Porch kitties wanted inside Kitty City, so we left them in there, which they don't usually want to go in, but they did. Putter is doing good. He's eating really, really good. And... Yeah, the cafe, the cafe press, we're all hooked up on that new FFRC website, but uh, um, Amazon is not hooked up and may not be hooked up for for a little while yet. Jason, do you mean Jason? I bet Dark Cat Jason or Jaken. Jaken is doing awesome. Um, he's running around like he never missed a beat. He's just doing really good. And I'm glad you like the new website. Uh, Angie here took a lot of the photos on that. Lots of the volunteers and friends have pitched in on that. What's the difference between Kitty City Kitties and Sun Porch Kitties? The Kitty City Kitties are those that live in Kitty City four months of the year, the winter months. And then um, the other eight months of the year, they go out to Cat's Cove. And uh, they stay out there, so they're they're in a building most of the time. But Cat's Cove is huge, and then the Sun Porch Kitties are another group. There are six, and they live either outside or in the Sun Porch. It has a doggy flap, and they go in and out of there. I'm a big believer in inside kitties because they live longer. But these cats that we have out there are those that have been dumped off here and have been totally outdoor kitties and they just do not want to be inside. So we try to do the best that we can for them and uh, give them a very wonderful life out there and lots of cover and lots of red lights, heat lights. They're, they're well taken care of. What? No, I did not know that. Val's taking Jaken with Gina. I did not know that. Does Jean, Does Val know that? <laughs> uh, bye, Dutchie. Hmm. What is Promise's story? She she just came on. A, was a Saturday morning, two Saturdays ago. Oh no, a week and a half ago, Saturday. And somebody just came in with her, said that they just found her out in their yard. And uh, that was the day my dad passed away, which is why I named her Promised. Promised. My dad always said he was going to the Promised Land. I had no intentions of taking in a kitty that day because we were busy with other things. But what do you do? Yeah, we had to do it. And all she did was purr and knead on us. So we had to, yeah. We've got um, six kitties are our uh, Sun Porch kitties, and then we have 16 kitties in um, Kitty City slash Cat's Cove. Yeah, I, I like, as soon as I saw her, I knew that was what her name was going to be. And for those that might have missed it or missed the uh, chat or missed the blog, um, Weasley and Donna went to the vet today and they passed their physical with flying colors and so they will be able to go with Lini on uh, Friday. Mm -hmm. I fin You finished the book which, whoops, whoops, hang on, let me, let me get that. Tink's dad, oh gosh, Tink's dad, I got so many books. Which one was that? Because I have finished a lot of them. T tell me the title on that one. Promise is cute, and she's doing really well. She was a little shy at first, but now she's doing well. 
Thank you, Linda Marie. Oh, it's hard, isn't it? I said it doesn't matter that my dad was elderly and that my at my age I we still love our, our dads. <laughs> I like that, Canton. From going out, what there well Kitty City is actually a very well insulated enclosed building. So there's doors and then Cat's Cove has slats it also has doors but we do leave them out like twice a week um we do leave them out twice a week so well once or twice a week it all depends on the weather and they cruise around run around and act like crazy they don't chase the chickens though and they don't make they're they're very good out there in the farmyard and then they come back because they know that we're going to feed them so they always always come back yeah, daddy's girls. Yeah, that's right, dark cat. <laughs> yeah, her parents are always special. Thanks, pretty princess. Come back again tomorrow. Yeah, study hard. Important. know who that kitty is on the steps. That's our Zelda Belda girl. Am I squishing you? Oh yes, yeah, Tink's dad. Yes, I did. Actually, I shared that also with somebody too. Yeah, that's a great book. Um, oh, I wish I could think of the complete title. I'd say that, let you guys all know that. Because it's a good book to read. Thank you for for um, for that. The floor. <laughs> oh, Twinkle, you're not eating the floor, are you? No. Is she eating chips? Oh, I don't. I don't think so. There were treats down there. Okay. Look how bad that's gotten. Mm -hmm. Angie's giving her little treaties. Um, yeah, I think she's eating the treats because there were a bunch of oh, them. Yeah. That's the spot, though, isn't it, where they where they like to get in, where they pick that off at. I'll show you for some of the some of you that haven't seen the ceiling here. Keep use. Oops, wait a minute. Let me see who that is. I got something in block. Oh, where do you keep use the blanket? Are you talking that Afghan that you sent last year, or are you are you sent are you talking about the colored blankie, Dave? Yeah, we, that's why we do put a rug over there. I check it with my feet, too. If there's anything that's up, I, I kick it up. Yes, yes. This floor, you could flood it. Well, not this floor, because I flood it all the time. <laughs> I'm, really, I'm really, really bad about forgetting I leave the water on to fill buckets. And, um, yeah. No, this, this uh, floor, they... Remember, we have floods. We don't, but area people have floods around here because there's so many rivers. And one of the rivers that was flooded, flash flooded last year, they had done um, two build two businesses in that area, and uh, they went and checked on it, and it had a couple inches of water on it for a few days, and it was just fine. No, this the 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 floor that we're getting can take all the water that. Um, that it it gets. Hang on, Dave. Let me show you something. Let me raise the cam up here. Yes. Yeah, so, so I am I am one of the worst people probably for for getting that. I need the water on. <laughs> yeah, it'll be nice. Dave, is this the Afghan you're talking about? This is the Afghan that DLM, isn't it DLM made last year? Yeah, isn't that beautiful? And you know what, Dave? This is washed every single week. And look at it. It still looks brand new. And you asked me where I keep it at. 
I'm embarrassed to tell you. I keep it in my house <laughs> on the back of my couch. My kitties love it. I hope that's okay that my kitties are using it instead of the rescue kitties. Is that all right? <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> I had taken it in. Is it <laughs> no, it's not my toilet seat, Nuki. <laughs> Um, I had taken it inside the one time and um, uh, my one kitty, Aquila, cleaned it and so I put it on the back of the couch and she lays on it every single day. Thank you. Yeah, isn't that beautiful? And Dave, I do. I wash this every single week. Every once a week it's put in the wash and you never know it. It's just as beautiful as the day we got it. All of these things that you all have sent for us like this. <laughs> That's good. They're pretty good kitties, aren't they? Um, I, I, I will try to, I'll go up tonight in my bookshelves and get that book out and look up what that title is. It's right upstairs in my, um, on my, my uh, bookshelves. I'll have to look if that is Cynthia. You know what, Zap, if I pull this down off the top of the couch, um, Zap and Z Zeke and Zany lays in it too. Well, this is definitely you, Cindy Lou, that's for sure. No, no, you're not going to go in. That's Dougster meowing. He wants to go back in the house. Yep, can't lose that voice. Here, Dougster. Come here, buddy. Come on, is you my bud? Here he is. Is he my friend? Yes. Where are you going? He's a shoulder boy. Yeah, he, well, he's in there. You know what? He probably will, Nuki. He's in there most of the time anyhow. Yes, he loves the shoulders. This little stinker jumped out of nowhere this morning and scratched the heck out of my neck. Yeah, we still love you though, huh? How are you going to get down from there? Oops. No. Here. How am I going to de de dumpster you? Here. Up down. <laughs> dumpster. Let go. <laughs> go that way. Oh, man. Okay. Well, I think that that's all that I have. Yeah. I Dumpster's a cool cat. He's really a good boy. Well, Dexter's still in the house quite a bit, Nika Ross. Um, he kind of goes in and out as he wants to. Yeah, I'm going to go work a little bit on the computer yet. I got some more email things I got to take care of. And that looks, from here, that looks like Cyrilla that's drinking. They love to have that, that water dripping. All right, and so tonight, if anybody, if the cam does go down, um, just designate one person to call me. Um, or a moderator, they all know my numbers too. <laughs> Thanks, Nuki. <laughs> all right. Thank you, everybody, for supporting us, for being here with us. We love you all. It's good to have everybody on there with us. Appreciate it. Are you going to eat that piece of plastic? <laughs>